The Funky Boy is coming back to town with a triumphant concert this Saturday night, May 2nd, at the Seven Theaters in Waterbury, Connecticut. He has topped the smooth jazz charts and all the accolades. The Funky Boy, Bobby Tomorrow. And I want to thank Bobby for stopping by. Busy days for you, right? Hey, thank you for having me, man. It's great to be here. Yeah, what's been going on with the preparation for uh, the Triumph Conf concert? You're coming back to town? Yeah, and we're looking really forward to it. It's this Saturday, May 2nd, 7 p.m., Seven Angels Theater. Beautiful, quaint theater in Waterbury. Um, box office is 203-757-4676. I've got some great... Um, guest vocalists appearing with me so uh i've got my beautiful wife layla that's right yeah who just smokes on stage and uh i've got timmy maya a great friend of mine who's a phenomenal singer lamone andrews uh, rue williams on my cds as well um and lg mckenzie so all these people have been featured on some of my cds in the past and uh it's great to assemble them all on one stage it's going to be outstanding now, now we know. You know, in all honesty, Joe, it's not that difficult with the technology today. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, once you get you know your format set and what you're looking to accomplish, the rest just kind of kind of falls into place. You know, just about everyone has a studio at home or their ability to record a part and send it back to you or whatever. So the days of flying all over the place and having to be in the same studio kind of non-existent nowadays. With uh, you know messenger and skype and video conferencing you could hear and see every everybody just like they're right in front of you and it's wonderful uh people can go to uh seven theaters dot org i believe is the website right yeah seven angel theater okay um dot org and uh you'll see uh, it advertised and click on the box office you can buy your tickets online and um you know it's, it's a great venue you're gonna want to be there and uh you know, the cool thing about it is we're also donating proceeds to the Harold Lever Cancer Center, which is a, does outstanding work. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, you've been through your own struggles with cancer. And, and uh, before we get into some of your music, t tell us uh, about the uh, battle you've gone through and in, in, in the triumph. Yeah, well, um, you know, coming off of last year when Soul Purpose was released in February, um, you know, it skyrocketed to the top of the charts with the first single, Let It Flow. And... Uh, we were really happy. It hit, like, number four on Billboard is where it peaked. And then I was doing a bunch of concerts in Florida where it was for the winter. And I noticed, you know, I'm an avid workout person, mm -hmm. and uh, I jump rope a lot. I lift a lot. And I just noticed I, I wasn't having my wind power. You know, like, I would jump rope, and I'd really be winded. And that's not like me. And um, to make matters worse, you know, I, I thought it was allergies because I had noticed in, you know, my glands were swollen and my neck was looking a little swollen to me. And I've had swollen glands before with allergies, you know, uh, right. it's just part of the battle. Well, I was smart enough to, uh, you know, after my concerts, you know, return home and, and have an appointment with the doctor. And I can tell you it was completely blindsided because mm -hmm. upon going there, it was straight to an x-ray and straight to the emergency room. Wow. And just no time to unpack nothing. Just a, uh, like I said, blindsided, um, with the same cancer as Lance Armstrong has, which is or had, which is uh, a seminoma germ cell, mm -hmm. it's just uh, something that gets passed down, you know, through the generations. It's nothing to do with lifestyle, um, and it's funny because most of the healthy people get it, which is crazy. Yeah, yeah, you're you're working out all the time, and yeah. uh, you know, but it just goes to show that you know it. it there's there's no separation. You know, it, it, there's no prejudice. It doesn't, no one's, uh, you know, immune from it. Uh, it. It's your time, it's your time. And um, I was very fortunate to get great care at the Hero Lever Center. But I also have to say, we balance the holistic and the natural side mm -hmm. with the traditional medicine. We had an oncologist that, you know, let us do that. Um, and, and that was a godsend because, you know, chemo isn't smart enough. It just wipe out everything that's why you know you lose your hair you lose all your weight and you know just but it kills everything good and bad right well working with a natural path we're able to you know take supplements to build back the good part of, of the stuff that chemo wiped away as quick as we possibly could so i really you know uh, promote that if possible you know get on natural supplements you know listen to your doctor but hopefully you find one that's uh that's open to doing both 
great care in the Waterbury area. That that's not too far from where I live, so I yeah. pass by it all the time. Great. It is yeah. it is a top top notch facility, mm-hmm. you know, top notch, and uh, division of Smilo and a division of Yale, which you know they're both world renowned. And, you know to have this in our area, you know, sad that we have to have it, but very fortunate that literally I'm the same way, um, feeling the, the worst. It it's sure a lot better to go, you know, ten minutes to get treated and, and you know you could be home in 10 minutes or to the hospital if you had to rather than you know truck into Sloan Kettering in New York which is two and a half hours away or whatever so there was a lot of blessings that I was very appreciative for and uh, the people in that center is one of them our special guest right now Bobby Tomorrow aka Funky Boy funkyboy.com f-u-n-k-e-e-b-o-y.com he's been to- topping all the charts and uh, we got a gr- we've been playing as soon as uh, the Garav family sent over the CD. Yeah. Um, and uh, we're going to get into a track right now. You have time for one more segment? Oh, of course. Okay. Funky Boy is with us. This is called Let It Flow, featuring uh, Bobby and also Warren Hill. Right here on 88.5. The Funky Boy, Let It Flow with Warren Hill. The Funky Boy, Bobby Tamaro, is in the house and uh, getting ready for an amazing show this Saturday night. Seven Angels Theater in Waterbury, and it's a nice park over there. I didn't even, because I've only lived in Waterbury for about two, three years, and I was driving, trying to escape the, the traffic on I-84, mm-hmm. and uh, I said, wow, what's, what's this theater about? And it's real, yeah. real nice, and you, you're going to have, hopefully you have a packed house, and should should be great. I hope so. You know, yeah. I, I really hope so, and uh, the ticket sales are going good. But, you know, our philosophy uh, with the band members and myself have always been, the people that come to see you, Joe, mm-hmm. are the people that want to see you. you right. know, it's so different when you have a venue like this rather than playing at a fair or a festival and, you know, people are just walking around with something to eat and you're playing or you're in the background or, you know, there's, you know, five or ten acts and maybe they came for one of those and maybe not the others or whatever. This is like a dedicated sit-down, no-frills theater performance and the kind of jobs you want. So, Mm -hmm. in all honesty, it doesn't matter if it's, you know, 10 people, 50 people, 100 or 500. um, You know, they came to see us, and we're going to play. And, uh, of course, you're going to be there with your band, and you got special guests galore. and Yep. um, A lot of rehearsal going into it, or everybody's... Yeah, 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 everyone's really, really brilliant at what they do. And, um, you know, we we got together uh, a couple times already. We'll get together a couple more, and, um, you know, it, it should really flow smooth <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah hey let, let me ask you because we get a lot of uh, musicians listen to the show sure. curious about what you are are bringing on stage keyboards wise and maybe used on the record yep um my studio uh at home um on the record i record everything in sonar which is a cakewalk mm-hmm. the, uh, software and i've been a cakewalk user for I can't tell you how long. Um, I love rolling gear, so you'll see some rolling pieces. Um, I still have my Phantom, which I use a lot. I have the Yamaha, uh, the MOX, which is the motif, basically, engine. So I'll have that up on stage with me. And um, in the studio, I use those as well um, with the Mackie monitors and uh, um, a nice digital console like a Project Mix 01, a little older piece. But you know what? It works great. Yeah, definitely well equipped. Yeah, um, you, you're bringing a standout show. Let me let me talk about the new record and, and getting the word out. Besides your your health health uh, battles, you've uh, got a new record out that's doing real well. What what, uh, what have you been doing? Well, Deja Vu is the third single off of uh, Soul Purpose. Okay. And the first one was Let It Flow, and then Bonafide, and now we followed it up with Deja Vu, which features Nick on guitar, and uh, you know he's outstanding, and. Um, so that's uh, that, that's hitting now, and um, you know, really after the show, now that I'm I'm back and I'm feeling good, and it's going to be time to sit down in the studio. And uh, I think since we coined the concert the Triumph concert, I think my next CD should be called Triumph. What yeah, think? <laughs> I, I think it, I think it's great. One of my favorite uh, Jackson records, but the Funky Boy can do it justice 2015, 2016 style. Cool. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm looking for that to be the title of. Uh, of the CD, and uh, we'll see if it holds true, and I'm going to, you know, get to work and, and let the creative juices flow as well. Uh, let, let me ask you about um, 
your your musical upbringing in Waterbury. Sure. Um, what attracted you to 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 dive into this? You know, I it's funny because um, I always had a, a musical family, although they never stuck with it. Like my brother would always think we had an old organ upstairs, and I'd hear him rocking out just by ear to Stevie Wonder and Tower of Power, and uh, and that's what I grew up on. You know, mm -hmm. to him and his records, and uh, at the time it was always funk based. You know, it was Stevie Wonder, Tower of Power, Earth Wind and Fire, Average White Band. Um, cool in the gang. So all of those were going on. Um, it, I never really listened to jazz, although he did have a, a smooth, couple smooth artists like Grover was in his playlist, and uh, he had a couple of George Benson albums. And um, I just found my niche, to be honest with you. I, I found my niche with the funk and the soul part of it, uh -huh. uh, and blending to the smooth jazz feel. And um, and that's just it. I studied. I grew up playing organ. Took lessons and uh, transitioned to some piano. Um, couldn't get into the classical, though. I told you, i, I um, got to tell you, I, I tried it for a while, and I was just, I mean, I'm a groove player, and I think uh, if there's one bit of advice I can get for young people today, because it's so important that, you know, hopefully kids still pick up instruments, and, you know, not so much the video games. <laughs> you know? That's right. You know, because it's so creative to, to, to learn an instrument. I think the thing that I had going for me was some great teachers where, you know, okay, you had to learn your fundamentals and your scales, but then when it came time to learn a piece of sheet music, they would say, well, go pick, you know, go pick out one that you like. And sure enough, I'd come back with, you know, a Brothers Johnson tune or a Earth, Wind, and Fire song. Yeah, you know, Great just, taste. Yeah, and they would come back and say, okay, well, you want to play this? Well, here's how to do it, you know? So it wasn't all or nothing, I guess, you know, it wasn't. You know, drilling scales and tech fundamentals. It made they made it fun, which I think is a big key in today. Yeah, and besides yourself, there there are so many. A lot of people don't know great musicians coming from Waterbury. Oh, we I, have we have a slew of them. Fats Gallon, drummer, I believe. A slew of them. Yeah. You know, there, there's just so many of them. Like I said, and and the singers that I've worked with all my life and you feature on my CD, they're second to none. They they really are outstanding. And, and you, I mean, you have Bob Baldwin and Najee on it. How, yep. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You're rolling Great with a great company there. Yeah. 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 They're some talented people, and uh, Cindy Bradley's on my record. Uh, mm -hmm. So you know, Surface. Remember the R&B group that, Surface. That that that's the song I was going to go out with. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. I lo love uh, to get those guys. Yep. Absolutely. So um, yeah, you know, I really brought it with this record, and uh, and hopefully I could follow it up with uh, with something just as powerful and uh and i will i'll i'll definitely put my mind to it now that uh you know my health battle is uh is, is over and uh i could get back to doing what i love um really important concert coming up the triumph concert with the funky boy bobby tomorrow will be uh this saturday night may 2nd 7 angel theater in waterbury connecticut and uh what's the the phone line and the best site people can go to sure. grab tickets in advance <clears throat> go to seven angels theater dot org okay and then the uh the box office number and i believe they're open like 12 to 6 every day and it's 203-757-4676 and uh you know after the show don't run away because uh the whole band's coming out to the lobby and we're going to have like just an after party celebration where we want to take pictures with people and just say hi to everybody and thanks for coming and, and really turn it out into a, a really really emotional celebration so it's going to be a great concert and a great chance to meet, you know, all the fans and friends that supported me. That's right. All the posters getting put up around town. Yep. Yep, for that's, sure. That's cool to see. Funkyboy.com, F-U-N-K-E-E-Boy.com. And, uh, Bobby, i got to thank you for coming on the show. And, and uh, you know, when you're coming back to town, you spend most of your time down in Florida? Uh, just the winter. Oh, just the winter. Because wow, <laughs> I, I hate what you guys went through this year. <laughs> oh, and, and i got to say it. The taxes in Waterbury, I think, are the second highest in the state, and the roads are a, a mess. Well, you probably already know. Yeah, <laughs> unfortunately, I do know. And, uh, yeah. you know, it, it's our home, and, um, you know, it, it's one of those things where I wish we could make a change, and we're all, we're all fighting to make a change, and... Uh, Hopefully we'll see it one day, but I have to agree with you. It's really, really hard tax-wise. Uh, yeah. You know, it, it's just something that needs to 
be addressed. That's right. Well, at least they're widened in I-84 in, right. in Waterbury. So <laughs> that's right. Keep hope alive, right? That's right. So, uh, hey, I uh, wish you continued health. I mean, it's great, and, and thanks for dropping us another great record. Thank you so much. And uh, Funky Boy, May 2nd, this Saturday night, with a slew of great artists amongst a great artist himself, the Funky Boy, Bobby Tomorrow. So we're going to go out with the uh, track you per- performed with uh, your buddies from Surface, Step in the Name of Love, the R. Kelly track. Cool. All right, thanks, Bobby. <laughs>